cabbage. Cabbage is available almost all year round. It's one of the oldest vegetables for human beings and it's almost clear around the planet. Um, there's head cabbage, which we're in the United States we've known a long, long time. They come in red and purple and green. And then there's Napa cabbage, which was used a lot in the Asian cooking, still is, along with bok choy, which has dark green leaves. Napa cabbage has the light green leaves. So we're going to talk about how and use the fresh cabbage, but first let's look and see how it is that you can get it otherwise. The first thing is sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is very popular, and until recent times, a lot of families did this in their home with their cabbage from the garden and it's just fermented cabbage. It usually takes about two weeks to make or so. And then you can get the bok choy and the Napa cabbage frozen, especially in this one, like it's chow mein, and it's an Asian dish. Um, and then there's other dishes. I mean, there's lots of different frozen ones, so read the labels if you want to have some cabbage in them. Now, the cabbage is related to kale and collards and the Brussels sprouts and, and the other cabbages. Um, so we're going to talk about what to do with these that we have that are fresh. So let's start with the head cabbage, since that's the most popular one here in the United States. Now, when you get one, the thing you really want to have is one that has tight leaves. You notice this one doesn't, and I bought this so I could show you. Now, it wasn't bad that it's not tight, and at least it was together. It's come looser since I bought it, but you just want to take these off. If there's a lot of them, if it wasn't just, see, after that, it's very nicely smooth. And you'll notice that in the stores, if you look at the bottom, you can tell they've been taking off outer leaves. But you want to be sure that this end is not all cracked and dried and brown, because that means it's an older cabbage. But this is the way you really want it to be. If there's a couple of loose ones, go ahead and buy it. They're going to come off. They're protecting the inner core. So that's how that one is. Now, when I bought the purple one, it already was like that. You'll notice there's no flopping leaves, but you also notice on the bottom that some have been taken off because you can see where they were attached. But this one has a nice bottom. It's not quite as good as the stem end on the other one. So we're going to talk about these two first and how to take care of them. Most of your recipes are going to tell you to core the cabbage. I'm going to tell you that's a hard thing to do. And you know me, if it's not easy, I'm not going to do it. So I found an easy way to do it. So what you want to do, your core is this stem that's going up the middle. It is very hard. It's the hardest part of the cabbage. So what I do, instead of going down trying to dig that out, I go ahead and cut mine into wedges. And I go down by next to it because it gets skinnier up at the top. So I just go down the side. And then I'm not cutting through the big core. And I'll show you the core. So here's this wedge. Oh, and this one you can't see it quite yet. So then this one, a wedge is usually in two, it's not a flat piece like a half. It looks more like the, the other way. So I'll cut that. And now I have a wedge. You see it's got like three sides to it. There's the outside and the two insides. And that's the same for this one. So now if I want to do more, I just cut down. And I have not had to core mine, but the core is in there. So this one is really like a wedge. And I'm going to make it more of a wedge by cutting this way. Oops. OK. Now, you can cook these like this in a steamer. You could take these and put them in a steamer. And what do you think is going to happen to them if we put it in a steamer? They're going to try to come apart because the water is going to expand. So, like I've done with this one, I've just stuck a skewer through it. You can use toothpicks. I don't use toothpicks because sometimes you forget to take them out. But you can lay this in a pot in the, in the skillet and steam that. And then that way, it pretty much stays together. Now, it doesn't always stay together because there will be some of these little pieces that come out, but that's okay. The dish that most people think of when they think of cabbage is coleslaw. To make coleslaw, it usually says to grate the cabbage. I don't grate the cabbage, it's too hard. What I do is I just slice up a wedge. So I want to show you the inside of the red one, which I'm also not going to core. When they say core, they usually mean to cut around this and try to get the core out and then keep the whole cabbage together. 
And you know, I have just found that to be so dangerous. I just don't do that. So I just cut down the side of the stem for my first one. Oh, this one is really tightly packed. Look at that. I could tell by the way it cut. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, when you are cooking the red one, the pur or it's purple, there's two. There's one that's lighter than the other. The lighter one's called red. And I think this is the purple one because it is really dark. So you do the same thing. You can make it into cores, into wedges. The thing you want to remember, though, is that this color is going to come out as it steams. So you always want to put a little lemon juice or vinegar in the water with the red cabbage, and that way it'll stay red. I've also heard, I haven't tried this yet, that if you, if the red water, if the redness comes out into the water and then you put a little yellow, I mean some little lemon or um, vinegar back in, the color goes back into the cabbage. I'm not so sure that works, but I haven't, but I've heard that it's true. Could work, it's all chemistry. Okay, so now let's look at the Napa cabbage, which is different than the others because it's not into the shape of a head, as you can tell. It looks a lot like well, maybe like fat celery or something. But they come off. It's the same thing. You don't want to get one that has floppy outer leaves. You can peel off these leaves and use them. The one thing about this kind of cabbage is it is more likely to have dirt inside. You do need to wash each one of the leaves as you take it off. But I wanted to show you how easy it would be if you put these in. This is really good for steamed cabbage. You know, like when you put the meat mixture inside, these work really well, especially if they've been steamed just a little bit. Some of them have to be and some don't. But that's the main difference. This comes off as leaves and you have to peel them off. And you'll notice that every one of them has a little dirt in the layers. So that's the difference. Now, the taste is different. This one is a lighter, the Napa cabbage has a lighter taste than the head cabbages. The head cabbages are real cabbagey. If you don't like that flavor, you may not like it. So go to my website and check out more recipes about cabbage um, and more ways to eat them. And, you know, there's a lot of people that think that the Brasecchia family, which is what cabbages are in, are great for us.